Hello, today I'm playing Recipe for Disaster, which is a restaurant management sim or a time management a game, whatever you want to call it. And I really needed this type of game right now because I love this game genre and these types of games I've been playing for several years, but then I stopped and I really miss these types of games, okay? And these games can not only be fun, but also quite challenging at a point. It can become chaotic. I'm just warning you because it should be that way, okay? And here are the options. Before going into action, I want to tell you that there are plenty options for a few things which is pretty good and useful in such kind of games. So I'm going with the Euro currency because it's a currency that I, I use uh, and I'm not gonna change it here. But you have, for example, dollars um, and pounds and I think it's yens. Here on the graphics, you have plenty graphical settings which is extremely useful. And the audio, um, you have plenty options as well. And on the controls, you have a few options just for the speed. So other things about the gameplay, you will be learning through the tutorials, which I strongly advise you to follow. So you feel more comfortable in going to the career mod mode later, okay? Before going into action, you should be creating your new avatar uh, by going here to the create section for example choose this option you also have the option to customize the uniforms here in the avatar editor which i already created my avatar so i'm not gonna change it you have all these customization options which is great so you can uh, customize the character's clothes and shoes as well with adding um, a chef's hat or other kinds of uh, hats all right if you wish or um, you can go with uh, other uh, kinds of things in your head uh, i mean hairstyles okay without the hat uh, you can manually define your type of hair that you want to go and you can even change the colors of basically everything on your character okay except for the eyes i believe <laughs> yeah so here body one and body two and then here on the skills so this is very important um also you will have uh people uh working for you okay the workers that you have they have certain skills and traits so once you are employing someone new uh besides of the ones that you already have in your restaurant you need to read carefully what they are better on and such because that can be very important for certain stations on your restaurant all right and here you need to choose a couple of skills so you have uh, some skill points by default and you need to choose in which uh, things um, of your restaurant uh, your character should be better on okay so i've chosen these okay so a couple of skills to the countertop uh, a couple for the stove and an extra one for the cleaning and then you must choose a loved and hate skill okay you can only choose two okay so you need to choose something that you really hate uh, for example i personally hate to be on the fryer i probably will be hiring someone to be on the fryer so I'm not going to be there, so I choose this. And I love cleaning, so I'm going to help on the cleaning side and press this hard. If I still need to spend the skill, you cannot. I cannot save uh, the character, okay, my avatar. So let's go with this, okay. And about the traits, this is a very interesting part of the game, which I actually enjoy and it was kind of amusing to try to choosing uh, two traits. So. I need to choose a positive and a negative trait, okay? And in this case, I've chosen the genius trait, which will make me to level up faster, okay? By gaining 25 more experience points every, uh, all the time. I, I find this useful somehow, so I've chosen this positive trait. And I've chosen the gothic trait, in this case, in the game, is a negative trait, as you can see here this so this should be like a neutral trait or something but this is like a positive extra positive and a negative one and it says that rain makes you happy which is good so when it's raining outside your character will be in a better mood and serving people at the tables will depress you okay may depress you which probably um 
I'm gonna avoid to serve people on the tables because of that. And the counters, so the counters is like another trait that is the opposite of uh, this gothic trait, for example, in this case, inspiring. So let's find the inspiring, which I cannot choose because of this. If I this select, if I don't select this, but I cannot go with two positive traits, so I'm gonna choose this. In inspiring says it, uh, that she'll be an inspiration for others resulting in a reduction of stress for nearby employees which is good so you cannot if you choose the inspiring you cannot choose uh, the, the um, negative traits annoying gothic and short feuds okay so other traits are really funny for example the the sickly um, negative trait it says that has a tendency to get sick and can also infect others. Chance of getting sick is 25%. So I don't think I'll, I'll be choosing that. I think um, between um, among all the negative traits in here, I think the gothic one is the last path. Okay, in this case. So you have the workaholic that works faster overall, but you will cut the break short before they have finished replenishing their stamina. Uh, which can be kind of bad. And kleptomaniac will steal ingredients from time to time. Uh, if you choose, for example, the animal lover, your character, uh, while cooking meat, it will low down the quality of the dish, okay? Uh, so, one last skill check modifier when preparing a dish containing any ingredient in the following categories, meat and seafood. If you go with the carnivore one, um, it will give one skill check while preparing those kinds of foods, okay? <laughs> so it's very interesting to have this thing in the game and fun to choose as well. So I love to create a, scenar a scenario on the future. So I'm gonna wait for that in the game. And about the cookbook is where you can create your own recipes, which is really cool. Um, I'm still trying to get used to this section of the game. Um, because this seem to be a little complex and sometimes uh, you don't know how, uh, what to do in here but you can create your own recipe so you should be clicking here okay and for example I can go with steak and chips okay yes so this should be how your dish should look like okay so you can choose any kind of dish here and your final dish will look like this okay in the plate in game which is really cool and then um you can either already uh, name a recipe or choose ingredients to add to your own dish okay uh, so you can see all the ingredients that you have available here should be all the ones available in the game as well or uh, should choose by category which is more organized and easier for you to choose uh, so in this case um uh, this plate looks like this uh, so I can go with anything really okay I don't have to go with uh, the steak and chips thing here but I, sh I can go with that for example uh, I can go with let's go with the, with the t-bone for example and I'm gonna add it here so this should be the, the first step of your recipe and then I need to choose um, how should I be cooking it okay and for example grilled I want the t-bone a grilled um, and you can add a few ingredients to this um, meat for example I could go I'm gonna just choose one thing uh, quickly to not spend too much time here so Mediterranean seasoning as it, and as you can see this uh, costs this a certain amount of money and I can add up to five ingredients into my uh, into the first step of this dish okay so the first step should be this one and then I can also, I can add anything, okay, I can add bananas here to pretend they are fries <laughs> and they fried, okay? And I cannot add anything uh, and I may not want it to add anything else, but I can even add uh, maybe the fry. Uh, this can belong to the second step or something. And as you can see here, it will take about 9 minutes, so it depends on your choices here. Uh, the, the time will inf be influenced by that. And the cost to make 4 euros and 60 cents should be the total of all these ingredients here. And I can name it um, the bananas, the bone and bananas. And I can save this dish and then even upload to to the Steam Workshop or something, I don't know, but that's pretty cool. I haven't tried it yet, so I'm still trying to learn things around here. But this is such an interesting feature. 
and once you create a new game or try to create a new game you can choose the game mode okay so i strongly advise you to go through the tutorial to get used to all the things this game has plenty menus around your screen so it's very important for you to learn each step okay in order to succeed later in the campaign mode so in the future there will be the multiplayer uh, game mode which should be fun for some people yes um, I hope I can later also go for like a, a free mode so I've only tried these so far I haven't unlocked the rest of the restaurants or the levels let's say but hopefully in the future there, there will be even more okay so more features of this game and this is the story okay the prologue a few months ago, you landed your very first part-time job flipping burgers at Sloppy Joe's in the center of town. Keen to impress, you've secretly been staying behind after hours to work on a new special sauce recipe for the restaurant's famous volcano burger. Yesterday, you decided to slip some of your experimental sauce into a customer's order and guess what? They loved it! Great, right? Well, it turns out this particular customer is a famous content creator and their heart of followers are now flocking to the restaurant to get a piece of the action. The manager hasn't shown up to work today and is clearly panicking, so now it's up to you to get the rest of the team organized and deal with this sudden influx of angry customers. So this is pretty much a burger restaurant for now, but you can eventually start to buying uh, some more kinds of foods that don't belong to burgers, right? And uh, let's see, I have all this money to get started and this popularity is if the popularity is below 30 percent you may lose the game i believe i'm not sure but i think so so these are the the objectives for you to be able to pass this level okay and have five seated tables at the same time which is easy which is not hard really and um, make 150 euros of income from food in a single day and serve about eight tables and bonus sell five dishes at 70 euros or more for now you won't be having uh, any dish at this uh, cost but then later maybe <laughs> and those conditions 30 popularity so you don't want to have that okay so here you have the objectives and the good thing is that you can press the pause button anytime okay anytime you have to go doing other things outside of the game or even to apply some options you can stop the game which is great or like fast speed super speed okay to speed things up a little more and you have here the objectives what I have to do later I'm gonna collapse this here and then uh, the tutorial will explain you everything that you need to know around the interface almost everything at least okay um, and here I'm actually in the building mode Okay, I can add or remove things, but don't forget that thing. these things come at the cost, okay? So some stuff is not really cheap, but it will um, influence uh, positively or negatively your restaurant eventually. I can rotate um, the view, okay? And even like on the, the Sims, if you ever play the Sims, you can put the walls down or up, okay? Which is really cool very useful too and here this ambience overlay as you can see here there are some red parts some green and yellow ones so what is this about these colors will influence um i think the workers too i'm not sure but at least the customers okay if they are close or in the red part they won't be in like a very good mood so the greener the better all right what I've done before when I played this game for the first times was to pick this up so I can move uh, this with this option here yeah and then I can even rotate with the R and put this here let's get rid of the red things in here kind of and this is trash okay so these are not good anymore they are broken so I can get rid of them demolish okay and then these are good even though I can buy better things in the future and the objects will influence the environment the ambience around so sometimes other times they will just do, don't do much besides of um, 
doing what they are supposed to do okay so come on table as you can see here it has a chance of catch fire and can spread fire of course because it's made of wood and dirt per use 25 percent so don't forget about keeping things clean because that will also influence the environment around the place and you have even more expensive stuff all right and i can actually already buy a common table so like the other ones and you can go with this but it will result in a negative effect about the the ambience okay so i don't want to go with this and for my 20 euros i can get a common table which doesn't have any influence all right kind of a bit it just made this thing a little greener which is good but i could go with a fancy table it's just i don't want to spend too much money right now and i'll go not with this but with a common black chair so i'm gonna add seats and another extra seat in here and another here as well okay yes i'm spending too much um so this is just to show you i can add napkin holders which will improve the ambience uh, around and a vase here maybe here okay and this is so red so i'm gonna go here you should not really start spending this money um right now okay i'm just showing you anyway so a little more here and even a tv that helps quite a lot of course and you have the landscaping to decorate outside and more lights here you can build more restrooms or change these ones and add more appliances i can uh, buy extra things. I'm probably gonna go with an extra fridge. I'm gonna need it later uh, Maybe but no, I, I'm not really gonna spend more money right now and the windows you can customize the looks of your restaurants in general and You can build or demolish walls as well. So pretty cool. I love this part of uh, the game of course and then to get rid of, you can even paint the floor and such in the walls. That's nice okay and copy this okay for a price the staff let's see my current uh, staff so this is uh, my staff okay these people are currently working in the restaurant okay and they are good in a few things and bad and bad in other things so i'm better here on the preparation and such and I'm, i don't want to be close to the fryer so two more people here don't like the fryer but amber holmes loves the fryer so this is where she should be going to work on okay and i can even hire more assistants okay more workers and pay attention to your needs okay what you need the restaurant the most for example I think only one person in the fryer should not be enough, for example, or I have two fryers. So I want to check if one of them is good in the fryer, so really good. This one is better in the fryer, but then you cannot put her on the grill because she will hate it and, and such. So you need to pay really attention to the, the people you'll be choosing. So this reminds me a bit of uh, other games like Theme Hospital um and and such where you should be choosing like let's say the the best uh, worker for the hospital that you find for a specific thing in the menu editor you can just remove this from the menu edit recipe remove from the menu you can even edit it which is really cool or add more recipes eventually which is awesome and the recipe editor is here again okay but don't forget that you should be having these things in your restaurant in order to uh, make your dish come true okay uh, so i don't have any breadcrumbs for example here on the food storage is where you should be going to not only check what you still have left in your restaurant but also to order new things okay to buy more things uh for example let's see on the meat i don't have any chicken wings 
Why? <laughs> so I can buy as many as I can. All right, don't forget that these things cost money. Uh, 15 euros for nine chicken wings. That's kind of expensive. But anyway, my uh, customers will pay more than that. So this is the capacity. I still have a few slots left. So once um, I'm full, uh, my storage capacity is full, I mean, um, I should be uh, maybe buying an extra fridge. I want to order this, so I'll just leave it this way, I believe, and the next delivery will be in a minute, okay? Once I start to go uh, and play in the live mode, let's say. The storage shelf is where your dry storage is at, okay? I should be opening the restaurant already. Order ingredients delivered and mm, yes, my workers will be here soon. Um, so now there are a bunch of things you should be knowing and let them arrive here. All right. And I can pause the game anytime, especially if I'm not used to the game yet or to do things very fast. And here order queue. There are no customers yet, so once they ask for things and they are not ready, prepared yet to deliver, the order will be here, okay? So pay lots of attention to this uh, part of the game too. And you can click over um, one of these uh, workers or just click directly on their faces here. And this is my character and, and they are not doing anything here. They have the stamina full and uh, no stress at all for now. And they are only paid this. They are very underpaid. This is not legal. Okay, one euro and eighty cents per hour. That's like <laughs> miserable. <laughs> anyway, uh, automatic grow rest results, uh, or you can directly send him to go rest for a little bit. Uh, if you see that their stamina is going down, you can just send them home for once or just send them home temporarily. <laughs> okay, and as you can see, the, the Grand Plague skills are, uh, you know, are not that great. He's okay on the stove, he loves to be in the stove. Uh, so he needs a little more experience to uh, go up uh, to increase their skills. She has a little better skills, but we can improve those as well. She hates to be on the grill, so we should put her on the fryer. And how to do that? As you can see, there are icons with a face um, over these things. So you can put someone in here. Let's see, grill. Okay, so you have to click really over the, the red uh, button. And then here... Uh, the priority worker should be here on the first, so um, she hates to be on the grill, so no grill for her. Uh, let me see. Uh, I should be really... They are all not so skilled on the grill. So let's go with the fryer. Let's go on the fryer. And as you can see, Amber has three skill points. None of the others, including me, like to be... On the deep fryer, I don't know anyone besides of Amber that loves to be on the fryer. <laughs> so let's put Amber, but I should be putting a second person here because just in case Amber is doing something else or not here or resting or and such, I need someone else to go to the fryer. So I'm gonna go or I should just be waiting for Amber Holmes to get back, but no. Uh, so I will put Camilla here. And then Grant. I don't want to be on the fire, really. And now uh, there are works workers um, linked to the deep fryer. Oh, I could actually paste. What does this mean? If I put here, I will copy this order and I put the same people here quickly. Okay, as you can see. So no one, none of them likes to be on the grill. I just put them like this. Effort normal. Um, I effort means the task will take longer as well as depleting stamina at a faster rate. Let's just keep it that way right now. <laughs> All right. And no more stations here. They should be working on. Uh, but I need to select people to go serve at the tables. Uh, so uh, I don't like to be here 
so I'm gonna choose Amber again and maybe I can only choose one person here but I'm gonna choose myself as a second one just for backup and here I'm gonna choose Camilla and Grant here I'm gonna choose the ones with more than one skill point always the first place and then later I will employ more people okay I can choose up to a third one I think we should be good enough to keep going and wait for people and I'm gonna remove this because <laughs> it looks ugly and then later you will eventually see how dirty your restaurant should be and then I will tell people to start cleaning uh, I'm gonna go there soon so I can speed this up a bit and see if someone comes in okay so we have two new customers and my workers or myself will automatically go there now we don't have to worry much they will work by their own okay I just got the chicken wings now. Yes, 10 of them start. And they are frying things. You can even zoom in a little bit. And it's easier that both of the women perform poorly while cooking. Sometimes they perform great even if they have a one skill point, I believe. Not sure, but that may happen in the future. And why am I angry? Why? Serving table, taking order, the rest and own. Uh, maybe because I don't like to serve or I have only one skill point. So they keep performing poorly. Order queue, common table, you can see here a customer waiting and this customer is like this and why? Once a customer is like this I usually pause the game and if no other customers are about to leave, okay, because they are still waiting and these ones are still eating, what I tend to do or what I should be doing is to buy another table uh, but if you don't want to spend money and don't mind uh, customers waiting you just don't do anything I'm gonna go to the build mode no big social distance but okay they are feeling tired. Alright, and I think I should send someone to rest and then maybe Camilla. Go rest, rest pending. She's probably finishing her task and now she's gonna rest. Okay. And as you can see, steps on the floor. Once you find uh, dirty floor, dirty tables and such, you should be checking the clean areas. Button, okay. And they still perform badly, okay. I maybe start, should start hiring someone else too. Social media master, restaurant popularity changed to 5% extra, that's great. So as you can see, 61 out of 100 popularity rating and 6 average customers per hour and recommended dish markup that's cool oh. this place looks like so this is the, the feedback of the customers Christina Black said that place looks nice while well, Jester served me incredibly fast even though it's something that I don't like to do kind of <laughs> um, alright and Bradley Danilo um, this place looks nice okay same thing that's great great feedback so here 
uh, it's not easy at first, even with the tutorial probably. Once you click on the clean areas to start cleaning the restaurant, there's no much dirt around, but the more clean the better. And you should be creating an area for um, someone to clean. For example, let's say if I only click uh, select this, I will ask a worker to clean this area only. If I select this, they will clean the whole place, the whole area here, okay? I put myself and employees will only clean floor and objects in this area if their cleanliness level is below this threshold, okay? And you have to pay attention to that to check, always check your character skills and such. And then second place, Camilla, okay? I can edit this area, okay? I can expand it a little more. Like this, or shrink it, or even delete the cleaning area. So I will cancel this area to be cleaned. And now I can cre create a new area, which I will apply to my character. Ah. <laughs> Not the most pleasant job. <laughs> Alright, and how about the kitchen? I will put someone else cleaning. Or also myself, because I, I like cleaning. Alright, that's good enough. And now we should keep going. Alright, so... I will ask Amber to stop resting. I'm gonna ask Rand to go rest. So you have here uh, a button to put them to rest. So there are a few ob uh, ways of making them to go resting. Objective completed. So I've made more money than uh, expected and such. So you can always check the objectives here again. So, I need to serve 8 tables or s and sell dishes at 70 euros or more. For doing this, uh, I should be... Let me see... On the menu editor, as you can see, the most expensive dish, which is re really expensive for just a burger, is this one. So, I should be increasing the price. I don't know how angry people will be because of this. Let's see how many people will order the Mega Sloppy. Oh! What happened? What happened? Hang on. Customer waiting, serving and such. Um, I can close early. And if you click here, you see the feedback. Jules and fries was disgusting. <laughs> Red Black was rude. Red Black served me incredibly fast. Well, just was rude. That's that's a lie. This place is quick and clean. People could see me on the toilet. Well, just serve me quickly. Oh, okay. I don't think the burger. Um, she didn't feel that well later. Food storage, I'm in need or, of more things, chicken breast, so it's almost over. I can order a few more. At this point, I may be doing something here. Everything is so dirty. <laughs> this looks awful. They did not have a kind of burger. Oh, they gave them the wrong dish. Holy crap. What I should be doing is to ask someone else to work here. Cleaning Charisma Serving. Uh, 
two on the grill, three in the oven. I don't have a, an oven yet. Good for cleaning, for example. And good for cleaning as well. For charisma, but no big deal in serving. I'm gonna hire this guy to serve and to clean. Maybe... I'm gonna home those rules, okay. Oh, I've already completed the objectives, that was pretty fast, so I've um, <laughs> sold that 70 euros dish burger uh, <laughs> quickly. That's great. So I can continue playing or go to the next level. Family business, so you have here the story starting money this, starting popularity 10%. So things are becoming a little more hard. And I have another different restaurant right now, cannot perform grill. There are no objects in the world that can perform grill. So I should be buying a grill, for example. Oh, um, my bad. And here it is. So make this, all this money. And so the difficulty will start to increase eventually. So this is it, I'm gonna stay here. Anyway, if you enjoy these types of games as much as I do, go for it, take a look at it and hopefully you won't regret. So see you in another time and thank you so much for watching this video, I appreciate your time watching it and have a good day!